One last thing I wanted to mention about the NFL is that the Super Bowl next year will be in Las Vegas. Super Bowl. 50. Oh, for real? Yeah. Cool. And do you think it's a coincidence that it's going to be LV, III, in the LV, LV? Be Las Vegas, LV, you know what I mean? Oh, It'll yeah. say LV, whatever, and then Las Vegas. Yeah. That'll be kind of cool. Like double Las Vegas kind of yeah. vibe to it. Las Vegas <laughs> is I, I just the ultimate sports whore. Oh, we're <laughs> getting, yeah, ever since they became, well, they're just waiting for an NBA team now. But they, but they have like every All-Star game ever. They just yeah. had the Pro Bowl. They got an F1 race coming up. Yeah. Like they do literally all the shit. Hey, bro, they have a basketball nice. team, okay? The Aces. Uh, oh, the Aces, yeah. Yeah, whoa, chill. Might be. <laughs> hey, they're, didn't they just Did I say them? NBA, though? <laughs> and they just got Candace Parker, I believe. They did. They didn't get Brianna Stewart, though. Bye. Watch out for the, re the, the, the repeat coming. The <laughs> <laughs> I know. Newest Liberty. Not, <laughs> not we're not getting political on this <laughs> podcast. And that's all I have for the NFL for now. Yeah. Till next year, folks. Bye. Till next week when there's some <laughs> some juicy news that comes some out. <laughs> some dumb shit. <laughs> Should we talk about PSG? Yeah, back to it. Um, so yes, of course, went to the game. Bayern Munich took the first leg of this round of 16 match against our Ooh. Paris Saint-Germain. Honestly, it's, it's one bullshit. Zero. It's bullshit. That... He was outside. Yes. <laughs> I want to say just it was bullshit, too. barely. Yeah, he was just barely outside. Um, but, yeah, like we said, incredible atmosphere. As far as what was on the field, PSG did not look very good in the first half. No. Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, I'm sorry. Keep mispronouncing. I always, I always say Bayern. You know what's... But, it just like I, I've, Bayern. I've always said Bayern Munich. Yeah. Bayern. Bayern. Every time I've ever heard it in the United States, it's, I always hear Bayern. I never, I've never, i never heard Bayern, but... Maybe... maybe when I was watching know. the highlight thing, the guy said Bayern, so I'm like, all right. Yeah. Anyways. Fuck them. No. <laughs> you know, one thing I forgot to mention... Those Munich sluts. Those Munich sluts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guys that were working that were doing, like, the tarps for the mm -hmm. pregame thing... They were probably the biggest fans in the stadium. Oh my god! They were god. they were flipping off that people. Was so it was funny. hilarious. It was hilarious. Remember the instant boo when Bayern's oh yeah that was came out? that was just, loud. Was just three goalies the three goalies yeah. and everyone was just like <laughs> yeah. Boo. yeah it was yeah. Crazy. thousands of people at the same time yelling boo I was like Jesus yeah. like I know it means more here but I didn't know it was like that right I mean I don't really I mean you know if we're playing the Niners are playing the Rams or the Cowboys I might boo a little bit oh, but, yeah, you but not like that no. like that's like, was, like you go to a Giants Dodger game at Oracle Park. I'll boo the Dodgers, and they'll and people will boo, but like I, that kind it's of that like boo that. was no, just like it came like out of nowhere. Right, <laughs> it came out of nowhere. I was like, whoa! Right after the cyber bully thing, yeah, yeah. we're turf. Yeah. Yeah. And even They're the like, Bayern, Whoa. the Bayern Ruder section had a like a fuck PSG sign, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Said fuck PSG. It said what? You no, it said? said fuck Neymar. It said seven pounds or seven euro, not enough. Nah, and it said something else, and then it said, fuck you, Neymar, <laughs> at uh, the very end. <laughs> it's you, just man. a sign. It's just a sign that they're holding up. Well, I think PSG fans feel the same. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> he was kind of a bitch. He was on the ground that one play for way too long. I, I, I saw it in two minutes, probably. Yeah, I did see the replay. He got popped pretty good in the chin, but it wasn't worth what he did. No, yeah. It never is. Yeah. It classic, never classic. Is. That's why he... I'm tired of that fool. He just... Uh, he loves to he loves to lie in the crest. And honestly, you know, everybody talks about how good he is all the time. Whatever, I does does one outweigh the other? I don't think it does. It's kind of torture to watch him play. And honestly, it's like he. I don't feel like he tries to play to score. He's like trying to just do too much all the time. Yeah. You know, he's just trying to go for the highlight reel play all the time. It was so interesting to <clears> me <throat> as somebody who played soccer in elementary, middle school. You know, <laughs> super qualified to make this right. call. Cool. I played when I was six. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> One year, yeah. yeah. Anyways, never played. Me and Zach Ewan. Um, Ooh, there you go. One of the number one things that you talk about in the game when it comes to passing is to always keep your passing wide. And you saw this a lot with PSG. You know, it'd be three or four players, and they're just kind of passing it around in circles. But the main goal is to not let it get too tight because then it's a couple players, and you're going to get it's the ball yeah. taken from you. Yeah. And they did that so much. Yeah. I'm like you're playing at one of the highest levels right. of this game, and it was—it just seemed a little bit silly to me. It, it didn't feel very um, cohesive. The, the passing game. They were also trying a lot of like low, low, high risk, low reward passes. It was like, what the fuck was that? And it gets turned over. It seemed like Bayern had their the possession of the ball in their zone yeah. a lot longer, at least in the first half, than it PSG was, did. It was like. 
think it was like 53 percent was there in possession i'm surprised it wasn't more than that especially first half yeah. probably was first more. half was way more yeah. I, I only looked at the end over total yeah because psg did have some action in the second half they yes. just have better handling skills right Bayern did. um and i feel like as long as i've known soccer that's how they've always been they've been really good at, at controlling the, the pace of play and, and controlling the ball well it was interesting coming from me who doesn't know any of the like stars of Bayern. I don't I don't Not really either. know that much about that team. It seemed I mean, like they yeah. were all equally at the same level mm -hmm. handling right. the ball. Not to toot Bayern. Thomas Muller is like the one guy that stands out to me because I remember him on the World Cup team from I believe it was 2014. Um, but he's like one of the better in guys. But a lot of, they got a lot of good young players as well. Um, they were good. Yeah, so yes. Bayern scored the one goal. It was early in the second half. Uh, I mean, it was a good play. The kind of crossed the ball in over top and the it was guy a little shocking but yeah it, it didn't like the the ball that went in did not feel that threatening and it just if you watch the replay it went right under Don Aruma's armpit yeah. which was just kind of yeah you know he wants that one back it was time. hard to tell from he, our angle we had a great <clears throat> game but right. you showed us me on your ipad and yeah. it, it looked like it hit his elbow yeah. and then it kind of ricocheted in right it's like man i, I mean i remember watching it it's like Based on where it hit the back of the net, I was like, that was dead. That guy had to go right underneath him. Mm. You know, it, he kind of went for a dive when it, he probably didn't really need to as well. Well, and it all started with that shit pass from Sergio Ramos. Yeah. Mm. He, like, there was a to turnover in the, it. In the yeah. own zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or our own half, whatever. Bummer. Yeah. But, uh, and of course, uh, if you watch our Instagram <laughs> videos, <laughs> you'll know that uh, we had a really tough goal taken away, <laughs> scored by Mbappe. Well, First of all, we should talk about when Mbappe came in the game, how the crowd erupted. Oh, it did. Even, it was great. Even when he came out uh, for halftime warm-ups, the crowd erupted. <laughs> yeah. So he wasn't in warm-ups before the first half. Yeah. Like, we Probably were looking for him. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, he, he didn't come out. He didn't right. come out at all. No. Because all the subs came out and warmed up, but yeah. he didn't come out. Like, I think this was like kind of like a hype thing. Right. Yeah. And then they played the whole first half. And then they came out to warm up again for the second half, and he came out. And, With, like, one oh other guy, my yeah. my God. And the place just lit up. The one screen in the stadium, like, zeroed in on him, and everybody was like, ah. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't a big screen. No. No. <laughs> yeah. At least not from our view. That's one thing when they eventually get their new stadium, which it sounds like is going to happen in probably the next handful of years. They need a they need a jumbo shot of sorts. <laughs> well, there wasn't even one on on our side. There yeah, was just, just that little one. baby over in the yeah. corner. It was like yeah, exactly across. Right. Um, but yeah, so he came in and made an immediate impact uh, mm -hmm. in in chances. Of course, um, it makes you think like if he started the game, what would have happened? Right, but definitely a boost of energy. Uh, he came in, of course, after Baron had scored their goal, mm -hmm. um, and just yeah, injected some energy for sure. Uh, had some great runs. Of course, scored the goal um, that we thought was the tying goal. So, well, everybody thought it was the tying goal. Somewhere the, in the, around the 70, 75th minute, give or take. The whole stadium blew up the announcer. Oh, like, I mean, they, the whole thing they lit off the fucking cannon of whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> they had, the, the, they had the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, like the, the um, uh, uh, streamers, but like... the uh, Not sparklers. <laughs> it's like something you would shoot if you're on a boat. Yeah. I flares. Flares. flares, yeah, flares. the flares were going up. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden it says VAR on yeah. this, and something in French, and I was like, fuck! Yeah, yeah. that that place went quickly from, you know, just an emotional, loud. yeah. To very it, was, it, was, yeah. it was like those Eagles fans. Right. From the highest of the high to the lowest <laughs> but, of the lowest. But it was like that. <laughs> Instantly, yes, exactly. Also a shout out to the moment of silence before the game that was like two minutes. dead quiet. Definitely. It was like a library. It was almost quiet. There was like a couple people. Couple who people were like, chirping. Boy. There was always one dickhead yeah. right. in a silence but it was in a crowd. Very quiet. Says, I've never the seen of people in that fifty thousand people in the stadium. It was very quiet. Yeah, that was like you. You could have closed your eyes and you would have thought the stadium was empty. Right. They it dropped really was. The turkey flag and the Syrian flag. That was yeah. nice. That, that was, was nice. nice. It was also the longest silence for somebody or a group. Of people. It was very long. It was probably a minute and a half, two minutes. Well, it, at least, it was at only a minute. At least it felt that long. Yeah, it was only, but it. And it didn't it seem like it was the fans that eventually were the ones that were like, okay, we're done. Yeah, yeah, I think the fans started it before yeah. the yeah. the rep started. Because yeah. usually, if you go to like a Giants game, they'll say like "thank you" and everyone starts clapping. Right, and it's only like fifteen seconds. But the crowd started clapping together without anybody saying anything on the the intercom. Right, and then that's when everybody started talking again. But it was a very nice gesture, absolutely. 
I just could not believe how quiet that place got. That was that was impressive. Well, I mean, the death tolls. Yeah, it's crazy. It's unfortunate. It's very high. unfortunate. It's very high. And sad. It's like up to sixty thousand people. That's yeah, wild. Anyway, I'm sorry. A couple notes I have on PSG is that so their forty game home unbeaten streak snaps ended yeah. in that game. Of course, first loss since April of twenty twenty one at home. Three consecutive losses for the first time since twenty eleven. And then five losses in total in this. Well, it says twenty twenty three. I saw that. It's since January. Since January. And yeah. it's all while we've been here. Yeah, we've we've seen three losses. And, and my question <laughs> to you guys is, I want to say, kind of jokingly, sarcastically, is it us? It's I think the, it's the ISR curse. I think we just need to get the fuck back home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. So PSG lost, like we said, and it's it it, it always sucks seeing your team lose. Yeah. But it was still a great experience. Something I'll never forget. I'll, I'll probably never do anything like that ever again. That was one of the biggest sporting events I've ever been. I mean, you never know. You, you never, never know. know. Did it feel like PSG kind of knew going in that they were going to lose that game? It was a lot of conversation. It was a lot of smoke screens. Like, Mbappe's not going to play. He's yeah. injured. Messi's not going to play the whole well, game. Yeah, there was, there was some weird, unnecessary shit that, you know. But I feel like that's, I've noticed that with soccer buildup. Maybe. And, like, the, the rumors are just all over the fucking place. They just didn't have any juice coming into this game. They kind of played like a team who had not lost a game at home in the last 40 games. Well, yeah, they, just, they sat back quite a bit uh, in the first half. The, I thought, though, the second half was encouraging in the chances that they created. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we're going to expect Mbappe to play going forward. Yeah. Um, so, I just feel like beating Bayern in this leg, in the second leg, is an insurmountable mm -hmm. feat. But it's like, but it's like, where I, I need that juice in the second half that was in the first half. Like, can we, I know it's hard, and being a professional athlete is extremely hard, I'm sure. But like, I just, I don't. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, they probably yeah. knew that they weren't going to be able to play Mbappe for a full game. They were like, we're just going to try and get what we can out of him. Yeah. And second half, being down a goal is the right time to do it. You think about like I know you guys have talked. You definitely have <clears throat> talked to me about home field advantage, right? Like with, with betting and stuff, especially in the NFL, it's become very evident to me that home field advantage is super important. Yeah. Now we think about the energy that we felt last night. Now that all, take all that energy and all that Put energy is going to be on the other team yeah. because they're playing in Germany next yeah. week. You know, it just doesn't, it yeah, seems... with a bunch of, I wouldn't say a bunch, but with some diva type players on the team. It feels like they're toast. It feels a little scary. It's yeah. a little scary. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Second leg, we'll be in Munich on March 8th. Maybe all that energy was a little too much pressure. And shout out to the Byron fans who were in the stadium in the little corner. Yeah, that little corner. They, 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 <laughs> that let's little make corner sure that we was, make, yeah, little corner. make sure it was little. Tiny, tiny little corner. corner. Was hey, they had their yeah. flares and they yeah. had their smoke come up. Oh, they too. lit it up. They lit it up. <laughs> so I'll give a little shout out to them. And they're lit up. Lit up. Their whole show was valid because they actually got that goal. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Man, when when Mbappe put it in the back of the net, though, that place was on fire. It was. Damn. Beautiful. At least we got to feel that, you know. Yeah. That's because like I was it. certain that we had a goal, you know, right? So we got to experience yeah. the hype. Yeah. Even the announcer was like. Yeah. Mbappe! Mbappe! <laughs> See, that was fun. Yeah. We got to experience that. Was that. that was nice that we had that experience because if we didn't have that at all, I'd be like, nah, yeah. you know. Because like the first goal they got taken away, like that was pretty obvious. It was taken away. The 30 minute walk afterwards might have not been worth it. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. might have definitely hit a bar after. And then the pit, pinched Uber might have not been worth uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even get started on the Uber yeah. drivers. <laughs> I'm fucking tired of Uber drivers <laughs> here, and we have to take another one to the airport. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it'll be quick though. It, like at five in the morning when we leave here at five thirty. It's still gonna be at, uh, probably an hour. It's uh, it feels like Uber drivers should have to take a driver's test, but honestly, the way that people drive here, I, it's, it's, I don't think it's their bad drivers. It's just the way they drive. That's yeah. just how it is here. Yeah, um, exactly. It's hard for your boy who has motion sickness. Absolutely, it's a lot to say. I feel for you every time. We well, go even go. last night's drive, I was like, this guy is. That guy was, he was Dude, irritated. Yeah. He bombed down that one street, too. Yeah. <laughs> Not to go over the board. Well, and a lot of these, a lot of the drivers here don't let anybody sit in the front seat, which I get. Yeah. I could have asked that guy, but it, I don't know. But we are squished in the back Oh, seat. yeah. Because like, they're all small the drives tomorrow. I know. I might ask the guy if I can sit up front yeah. tomorrow. Because it hasn't ever been a female. I was just thinking about that. We haven't had any female no. over drivers. No, we have not. Um, any... Other soccer stuff you want to talk about? Uh, no, I just I appreciate you guys, and, you know, making this all happen. Yeah, it was amazing. It we, was. we do have more Champions League 
action this evening that we probably will not be watching because we'll go to bed. Yeah. Is it, is it at nine again? Nine again, yep. Got Dortmund and Chelsea, and then I forget the is other Is it game. in Germany? It's it nine, is in like, Germany. It's at nine o'clock, like an hour and a half? Yeah. Hmm. We'll, we'll see where we're at. We'll see where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see myself getting much sleep tonight anyways, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm kind of with you on that. You're just a nervous flyer. <laughs> well, after the last fly, I thought we were going to fucking die. <laughs> okay, but like, think about, I'm so happy that we don't have a layover this time. Like, t having to navigate an airport and having to wait... It yeah. sounds like a chore. Having we're to gonna, leave your passport on the airplane. Off, but, hey, fuck. Whoa, <laughs> put me on blast. Put me on no, blast. No one heard that. No one heard that. I had to convince a lot of people from Canada that I wasn't sketchy as fuck. Okay? Oh, my God. But, <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. I'm like, I'm, like, checking your backpack, and you're, like, I'm, like, rummaging through it. You're, like, babe, seriously? I'm, like, I don't see it in here. <laughs> and then you're, like, it's not in here. Like, it was your fault. Like, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't, anyway. Do, I didn't do anything wrong. But we will take off from France, and we will land in South San Francisco. And that's nice. So, I know you're not looking forward to that long flight, but I promise you, when you land and you walk out in San Francisco and all you have to do is go through customs, it's going to be nice. Yeah. Shout out to Morgan for picking us up. Yes, thanks, man. Holler. Uh, it's, it's not tomorrow, but it's like a day and a half. Tomorrow. 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 Yeah. Just the time. Well, the, the it's, time like, it's like 11 o'clock. The time change really messes with me around here. Yeah, it's still tomorrow for her. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically 24 hours from now. One more sleep. One mm -hmm. more sleep. And we're not going to, we're not sitting next to each other this time. Well, we are, but. Oh my God, we are. Which is like, <laughs> well, like the three of us have been all in a row. I'm to, glad because I'm not going to lie, sitting in the middle for seven hours last time or whatever it was. <laughs> not, not I, didn't, I didn't realize you guys, not neither, the business. neither of you got up for seven hours. No. <laughs> no. Which I didn't really have to pee, which so that no, wasn't a factor, but I. I wouldn't have minded stretching the legs out. But I felt like you were sleeping, so I didn't want to be a dick. And but you up. will. So we're in the very back of the plane, and our row is the first one that's two seats, mm -hmm. and then yours is two seats as well. So we don't have a three-seat <coughs> row, three row. We have a two-seat row. So you and I will be in row 51, and then Emerson will be behind us. And will be have, behind us in we row have 52. Anybody next to you yet, do we know? No. Mm -hmm. You can, literally can't book that seat. Oh, really? Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Might be for a flight attendant. Hmm. We don't know. Hopefully she's pretty. I told you, maybe you'll get some hot flight attendant <laughs> action. I'll try to cop some drinks or something. Yeah. Ooh! All right. What time is it? It's time for it a is, last call. It's 7.32. <laughs> okay, Garrett. All right, Danny. <laughs> Was that Garrett? I think they both did it. I really think they did. <laughs> well, Emerson, you got, you got everything on here. I got it, I got it dialed in. Daytona 500 this Sunday. You ready? Yeah. Are we going? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we should just stop there on the way back. There you go. <laughs> Spend a week. Hey, yeah. Kyle Larson. He's going to win. Fuck no. <laughs> Chris Bell. This William is Byron. Harvick's yeah. last season. He's going out with a bang. Daytona 500 win and championship. Let's Have go. you guys talked about the new NASCAR, new NASCAR stuff? Draft? Did we? Uh, I think we, did we mention that you were in it now? I don't know if we did. Devin has joined the, the pool this year. <laughs> I thought we mentioned it, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. No? And your drivers are? William Bell. Or William, William Byron. Little... <laughs> William Byron and Chris Bell. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good duo right there. BDs. Yeah. Team BD over here. Gage, you're bringing back Kyle Larson. And who's your new driver? Uh, uh, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney. <laughs> That's another. I always think Tyler Reddick. That is a stout deal right there. That might be the, that may on paper be the best Yeah, but he best won team. with. Wait. Oh, oh, With possible Bell. three peat? Yeah. Three -peat? Absolutely not. Chris because Bell was your MVP last year, though. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> By like this much. And like I said, I'm bringing back Kevin Harvick for his final season in NASCAR. Couldn't do it. Or couldn't not do it. Yeah. Has he been your one since day one? Uh, yep, yeah, since we started this. We Nobody kept both drivers. You couldn't. You couldn't. That was against, against the rules. That's right, that's right. But Dylan dropped and, both. Yeah. And I'm bringing in uh, last year's Sonoma winner, Daniel Suarez. So hopefully I can go back to back on that when we go. And we're no. going. <laughs> yeah, we are going, yes, yes. And also but Daytona, possibly in the works for next year. That could be... Daytona 2024! Possibly yeah, in the works. In the middle, in our RV. Also, it's an NBA All-Star <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Simone, Simone and Dan Fox. Ooh. It's going to be nice. Get a Simone All-Star jersey. Ooh. Flex on them. We're not doing a All-Star draft this year. Sorry. Yep. Didn't have the energy for it. We have other things. This is too busy. They have other things. 
Other basketball stuff, uh, Gary Payton, the second trade has been made official after his physical complications. <laughs> the Warriors still officially failed his physical um, mm. over his abdominal surgery issue that happened. What? It's kind of weird, this whole thing, because he has been playing, but now they're ruling him out for the next month, and they'll reevaluate him. Very odd situation. Do you have the details of his abdominal what surgery? What are the deeds? It was something that happened before, like, in the offseason, and then he like, are we talking missed the first, like, 30 games of the season. Like, did he lose his appendix? What's the deal? Don't, don't know. Don't know anything about that. <laughs> Lipo? What's the deal? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> the Warriors did file a complaint against the Trailblazers for what they believe is not providing full medical information on him. Um, but we'll see if there's any compensation. It's not likely, but yeah. we shall see. That's legitimate, though. Yeah. Did you get anything? Um, not... No, I don't have anything personally, but you have the MLB bringing back extra inning ghost runner in 2023. Well, you know how we all feel about that. Ooh, you like us? No, no, I have something for less cool. Okay. After you guys are done. Yeah. No, um, I actually saw something interesting that I'm going to wildly misquote, but somebody in, important in baseball was like, we've literally never needed this before. It's never been an issue. Why is it? What now? Is it just to make the game faster? It's, yeah. But... And they're they're but looking at making it permanent. Yeah. This it should it shouldn't be permanent. It's just not yeah. the game. The thing about baseball is none of the fans are sitting here like, damn, I wish this game was quicker. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, it's. I mean, I think to some degree there needs to be better pace because it can get boring when someone's throwing a pitch every thirty seconds rather yeah, than every twenty seconds. This is not seconds. the way to do it. No, this is not. This is not related. It's cheating. Yeah. Well, it's just yeah. It's not. Uh, it's just not the way. You're, you're, you're ending bad. games inauthentically. Mm -hmm. It feels cheap. Yeah, feels lazy. Not, not him. Yeah, no one, no one that's a legitimate baseball fan is like, oh, this game's going to extra innings. God, I wish it was just over by now. Yeah. Um, well, exactly. And if, and if that's what you're worried about being at a game, then turn the game, leave or turn the game on. Don't go on like a Tuesday night with your kids. Yeah. There's different ways you can go oh, about this. Why you gotta bring the kids? I'm just it? saying. It's like the kids into I feel like those are the kind of people probably complaining well, about well, these games. It's not even that. It's like you can choose to like if you go into you the game, you can choose to leave whenever you want. Exactly. You, know, you don't have to stay for for the ending. Well, I'm like, how do you talk about the games that you've gone to that have gone into extra innings? It's like exciting. You're like, remember yeah, that we, extra inning game we, we went to? We will never not. We'll, we'll always remember always that game. Remember you that. guys yeah. talk about it so much because it's so exciting. <laughs> well, it's it was something different. Yeah. I mean, it was long, very long, but it's like still. Like, but it's like, just it's keeps like fun. Going. I never really got bored when I was there. I was like, okay, we got more baseball. Yeah, exactly. The only problem is that you still can't drink. You know, well, they don't that is a, the that is a down, downside. You sober yeah. up quickly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, definitely negative on that. Vote. I really, really hope that they vote against making it permanent. But yeah, you give, know. give me a vote. But the thing is, like, the players are involved the in it, and they will probably support doing that because... They don't want to wear out pitchers. Well, that's the thing. Season. That's the only thing that sucks is wearing out your players, especially yeah. if they have another game tomorrow. But here, here, here I got a suggestion. I think I maybe said this before. Baseball should have rosters that are flexible, where you have 30 guys rather than the 26. Mm -hmm. And there's four guys, or actually maybe even more than that. You have, you can only use 22 guys during your nine-inning game. Mm -hmm. And you can use whichever one. You don't have to designate them before the game starts. They're all in the dugout. You can use, you can decide, hey, if I need more pitchers today. And then, like, as extra innings go, you can pull more pitchers. Um, so that, you know, it doesn't have to be, like, a set, you know, roster. Now, it doesn't give you full flexibility to use 30 guys in one game, which would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But it allows flexibility and allows pitchers to, you know, not blow their arms out, you know, unnecessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Probably <coughs> cheaper and easier to put a dude at second base and yeah. leave it at that. Right. <laughs> Learn about your boy Rob Manfred if you want to see what he thinks. That yes. uh, comes down to money. Yep. Yes, exactly. I think it would extend veteran players' careers, too. Which I think it would be nice. Absolutely. You could have a lot of those guys be guys that maybe wouldn't have been signed um, just because they're older and it's yeah. more expensive. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Are we ready for this? Yes. You guys? The last okay. thing that we have on Wait, last, I have call. Something for last call. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Um, the She Believes Cup is happening this weekend. <laughs> it's a, I gotta plug women's sports. It is Japan, USA, Canada, and Brazil. No one else? Go USA. No, it's just four teams. Is that, that's how it always is. That's how it always is. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really matter, but it's fun. So watch, watch it. I think <laughs> it's on CBS. Ooh, there you go. I like that plug. It's nice. Oh yeah. Team USA, a little, a little Usa, scary Usa, at the Usa. moment, but we'll we'll see, we'll yeah. see.
can't always be dominant. No, but, but you, you know can. when the coach is a little <laughs> look at your kind of basketball. <laughs> when the oh, coach is they're... a little dodgy and your six position is just blown up, you mm -hmm. you're a little nervous. You get a little nervous. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So uh, on the first episode in France, we did a uh, tally of all the American sports gear that we found. Um, and we're going to do additions. We're not going to do combined. We're going to do what we've seen since, since then. then. So oh, these, these numbers are going to be... Yeah. I didn't know that... Jeez, that was yeah. since? Since yeah. then, yes. And I big yeah, shout out to totally. my co-host here. For <laughs> writing all, all of this down. You know how many times I said, oh, you know, Yankee hat, Red Sox hat, and everyone just pulls out his phone, puts a tally down. I think we should have been tallying every time I shook my head at a Yankee's hat. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. At least a dozen times. Like, <laughs> you have to know is that all the girls on TikTok are telling all the influencers on TikTok are telling people to order New York hats, hats yeah. on Amazon. <clears throat> okay, so that let's start with yeah, that. Yeah. It's trendy right now. Very trendy and Emerson is not happy about Because So if you want to go uh, by popularity, of course, Yankees win this in a landslide. Jeez. Um, since, when was our episode? Was it Thursday? Friday? Thursday? Or was right? it Friday? Maybe it was Friday. I think we kept saying Friday. I think since it was Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. So since then, we have seen 39 Yankees hats, two beanies, and one backpack. Yeah. Which I, I kind of forgot about the backpack. But I remember yeah. the backpack. Yeah. That's so, weird. yeah. Wow. That, that's just, that's just it, since our last episode. Since, yes. So that's in addition to, like, I think nine more Yankees hats that we saw and a couple other things. Maybe a Honestly, jacket. Shout or two. out to the dude today in the leather Yankees hat. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we've seen some bad ones too. And a lot of these have been different yeah, color hot, variations. Right? Very few like actual, actual blue, yeah. navy blue and white blue, Yankee red. hats. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of black and white, khaki yeah. and black. Yeah. There was that weird tie-dye one. Mm. Not cute. <clears throat> Unsurprisingly, coming in second were the Dodgers that, with six more hats and a jacket. I expected a little bit more of the Lakers, honestly. Yeah. I expected them to be somewhere yeah. a little bit higher. Red Sox had five hats, Eagles four hats, which we saw all on Super all Bowl on Sunday. Sunday. Yep. Yeah. And one dude had all the stickers on his hat, so you can tell he just went to a storm by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that was> nice. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not an Eagles fan, but it doesn't look too good when you got the stickers on the hat on Super Bowl Sunday. No, he's a winker. <clears throat> Confirmed. Uh, Chiefs, we saw three jerseys and a hat on that same day. Same day. We saw a cute... All within one family. A cute yeah. little family. Yeah, well, that's true. Because we saw someone from afar. I'm like, hey, bro, a Garoppolo yeah. jersey. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, a, it was a red jersey with a number 10 on it. It was too red. It, it was, was a little redder red. than the And then I'm like, wait, no, I see some yellow. I'm like, is that Tyreek Hill? Yeah. yeah. Then her husband was rocking the home. Yeah. And then their kid. Little kid yeah. was rocking, rocking a little jersey, too. I'm pretty sure the cute. baby had a onesie on, but we couldn't. I think it was. <laughs> I think we, it was. We couldn't exactly confirm, so. Uh, after that, we got the Lakers. Which three of these items were on one person, <laughs> <That> <laughs> which we saw today. Dipped. Yeah. Dipped. So Big LeBron James. Yeah, he had a hoodie with a jacket over it and a beanie. We also saw one other Lakers hoodie today as well. The Letterman jacket. I was. It was cool. It was cool. No, was yeah, cool. he was definitely definitely swagged out. <clears throat> uh, we've seen a couple Blue Jays beanies, uh, Montreal Canadiens hat and a beanie. Mm -hmm. Um, which, of course, these are not American teams, but they play in American sports leagues. We decided on North America yes. yeah. because we did see some, some Premier League stuff. Yeah. We saw some Barcelona, some Madrid. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and then as far as individual items, these are going to be more on the niche side. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw LA Kings jersey, which was kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I mean, fuck the Kings, but that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> this was a dude who was smoking a stogie outside of a place that was probably a strip club. Right. Of, uh, that, oh, that street where we were walking down. down was a bunch of, you know. Sex shops. and. I think uh, that dude was at his job. He so may he, have been. He, yeah. He did not look like he was working. <laughs> Anyhow. I think you can wear anything you want to a strip club. Probably. If you work there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah Especially right. as a dude when people are looking for women. Who cares what you're wearing? Right, right. Um, some other beanies we found, Maple Leafs, uh, Grizzlies, and Bears. Grizzlies is a pretty, pretty niche one as well. Yeah. Uh, we saw a nice Bulls jacket. That yeah. was nice. Ohio State hoodie. Yep. Uh, Net sweats, which is definitely an interesting we one. We saw it today. Yeah. You saw it today. I saw it today. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. That was uh, cool. Another Michigan shirt. Um, and then, of course, the hats. We found a lot of those. Uh, one White Sox hat, a Suns hat, Ravens hat. Utah Jazz, Minnesota Vikings. Of course, we saw two Bay Area hats. We saw yeah. one Giants hat and one Ace hat. Orange Giants hat and an Ace hat. The Ace hat, hat was at the game. Is that the game? Yeah. That was at the PSG game. Yeah. The Ace hat was cool because it was one of the ones that had like the three logos on it. Yeah. It was cool. Um, we saw a Tampa Bay Rays hat, Pittsburgh Pirates, Chicago Blackhawks, and Atlanta Braves. Yeah. 
with all the baseball hats, we we would see the new era logo and yeah, then just look, see yeah, the just, MLB logo on yeah. the back, and we're like, "Who is like, yeah. that?" Turn, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so North American sports, since we've been here, has been well represented. Well, because well, like I said, I try my best not to wear any kind of sports because I do not want to look as American as possible. Yeah, I thought about maybe bringing my Giants hat, but I was like, "Nah, I don't need to." No need. Got my but PSG shout beanie. Out to that one lady, and you said <clears throat> yes. go Giants, and, and she, she did not. Look. Did not. <laughs> she looked like she did not speak. <laughs> she went to San Francisco and bought that hat in the airport. Yeah, exactly. The dude, dude is wearing the A's hat. Him and his girl looked like they might have been from America if that makes any sense yeah just the way he just absolutely A's is a little too niche it's to a little not, niche like, right belong That's I think it's, oh, I really yeah. like green and yellow no you don't no, no yeah. shot no, no shot to the A's but I think the Giants are more of a well known logo and team yeah across the world yes a couple things to note here we did go into an NBA store mm. So, like, it's not like there's lack of places to buy these things. That store had some really cool throwbacks. That's right. Oh, real cool. Awesome. That was very cool. I wish I had bought everything that was stuff that I liked. <laughs> right. Second thing to note, obviously we didn't count PSG stuff. It wasn't in North America, yeah. and we went to a game. Mm -hmm. But... We saw very little of it, though. There was very little of it outside the actual event. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously, he... when we went to the bar, everybody was right. fitted. I felt very out of place not wearing any PSG gear. Right. Right mm -hmm. But in the city on Tuesday, yesterday, Tuesday, yeah, yesterday, it was we saw two PSG things mm -hmm. the whole day. Yeah, right. and Emerson thought, you know, if it's game day, you gotta be repping your team. You well, that's I mean? that's what was my thought. Is like even in Napa during the conference championship game, everyone I everyone I saw at the store the wearing flags Niner shit. In front of yeah. The house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. People like, wear their shit. On or the game flags day. on their cars yeah. when they're driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wearing right. all their stuff. Getting ready for a fucking party they're going to, they're wearing their shit. Yeah. You know? So it's not necessarily it's just not sports di affiliated. It's just different. Right. It's just different. Yeah. It's, it's different. different. And I think part of it is maybe PSG's you know, rise to this level has been somewhat recent. It's been kind of in the last 15 years, give or take. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that has something to do with it. Just, just a shot in the dark. Yeah. We did not talk to a single one of these people that we saw with no. the sports gear on. No. So we can't confirm if they were American or not. We literally didn't talk to anyone. No. no. <laughs> we heard people speaking English and we're like, that's cool. I almost I almost talked to the guy that was sitting next to me at the game because he was from yeah. he was definitely American. I didn't even think about that because I just I assume everyone doesn't speak the language. We were here for us though. We were not. Yeah, no, we were here to make friends. We're, I'm not here to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> for business. yeah business. So yeah, that's just a couple of things to know. Yeah. I think the most niche one out of the ones that we saw the past few days, I gotta say the Grizzlies. I was thinking the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies, the Utah the, Jazz is a little The niche. Jazz is actually, I think maybe even more so because they're not as good as the Grizzlies are. Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, uh, what was the other niche. one? Niche. Um, Pittsburgh Pirates for sure. Pirates. But the Pirates P is, is kind of popular. It's pretty popular. Yeah, I would say the, the Tampa Bay Rays is pretty out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, <clears throat> no confirmation on if that guy spoke English or not. Right. They just smoothed and, mad hard just to see what Hattie yeah. was wearing. <laughs> and the Suns, even though they did go to the finals a couple yeah. years ago. But. Well, that's, yeah, just a little too popular. Right. My pick's the Grizzlies, but I don't think the Jazz is a bad pick. Yeah, I think the Jazz is a little yeah, too popular. Okay. Braves. It's <clears throat> a nice red, white, blue logo, too. The A's might be... Actually, for, might be number one. For other know, people, too. It's just that we're from the Bay Area, so we know the A's. That might be number one. That, that was just like, if you see somebody coming from the Bay Area... Tourist wise, they're mm -hmm. probably gonna buy. If they're looking to buy something, mm -hmm. they'll right. probably buy a Giants hat, right? Yeah. yeah. Definitely not an A's hat. Mm. That shit's trash. <laughs> <laughs> not the team. I'm not hating on the A's. Oh. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not buying an A's hat. You're, right. not going to, you're not going to fly from here all the way to the Bay Area yeah. to hang out in Oakland. No. Well, um, final final episode in Paris. That was a good time. Uh, we're about done with Paris. Cheers. I wish I had something left we, in my bottle. We are done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're done. Uh, hell of a trip. Um, thank you guys for sending us here, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thank you, fans. For, Appreciate it. For everyone who voted during, uh, during Thanks that. Thanks to you guys for doing a podcast so the fans could choose yeah, when we right. come here. Exactly. If we didn't start this podcast, we would not be here. No. no. I can pretty Absolutely. much confirm that. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, not even close. Yeah. It all goes to you guys. Thanks. No. Yeah, it's, Next time, it's let's nice. let it be a tech right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Next time you hear from us, we'll be in America on Johnson Street. Ooh. That's right. Most likely. Yes. And as always, thank you for watching, listening. We'll Subscribe see you next time. <laughs> Peace. Peace.